When I came from Portugal to Denmark, I knew it was going to be a clear change of climate. I knew there was going to be wind, there was going to be rain, there was going to be snow. And of course I needed an extra layer of clothes uh, to, to survive. But my motivation was basically the fact that I could work in one of the leading countries in terms of offshore wind. Ramble was one good option to start my career in the field. Basically, it's very fascinating to see the whole process from when you sketch something in the drawing, you have an idea. Maybe one year after, you see these huge structures out there. I think as an engineer, there's nothing more gratifying seeing some of your ideas come to reality. From an A4, A3 drawing up to the real life size scale. And then on offshore wind, it's very special because the size of these structures can get taller than Big Ben, for example. When you put a turbine on top, it can get taller even than the Eiffel Tower. I think everybody is driven by something somehow, whether it's an engineer or not. In my case, it's all about a rewarding effect of believing that you're doing something in the longer term. You don't see the effect just now, but I do, and I think all my colleagues here, they believe that what we do, it's relevant for controlling climate change, for example. I am in environment and health. I'm in the San Francisco office, and our office focuses on air quality. I had asthma and respiratory issues as a child, and I was a really active kid. I played soccer a lot, and so I think, you know, air quality, it kind of touched me closer than I realized it was something that was really important to me. We have this incredibly exciting social project that is all born out of a client relationship. It's with this community group locally in the San Francisco Bay Area to help sort of guide this community to understand what the air quality is like. It's a community that's disproportionately affected by air pollution in the area. We are installing 50 air quality sensors around the city on, you know, lamp posts and homes and all over the place. Make sure to angle the, the solar panels. Yeah, no, you did it and it was cool. I know in 10 years, I'll look back and say, that project changed my life because it hits so many different elements of things I'm passionate about. It is using new technology, it's educating people, and it has the social aspect of training youth in a disadvantaged community with new skills. So it's a really big impact in many ways. I'm happy to see the work I do changing people's lives. I came to Ramble from graduate school because I wanted to see projects unfold in real life, not just research. That's what brings me a lot of joy, is seeing the work I do reflected outside of just what's happening day to day on my computer. I work here in Ramble as a division director for water networks. Water as a resource is something that we have to protect. We have to plan for it very well, so even in the future we will have clean water. If you can get your voice heard about the water issues, you can have an impact that will create sustainable solutions for the future. I like working with Ramble because my passion for the values that we have here is aligned with my own and uh, I think I've been believed in here as a leader also. We try to see that everyone will be able to develop and grow here in Ramble. 
It gives you a great thrill when you can see a person who's quite frustrated about one type of task they're doing in a project and you can change the way they believe in themselves. That is something that is really inspiring. It's important for me that this company is owned by a foundation. It makes us more able to do long-term planning. We have to adjust to the world that we live in, and our everyday here actually makes sense for the future. I'm a design director here in London. Key focus at the moment is high-end retail buildings, but I also cover 50-storey building in Bangkok, three 40-storey buildings in Milan. So I float across lots of different disciplines and um, different teams as well. Over the past three years, I've taken over the end stage of the Tate Modern. I sat in the first design team meeting. Everybody were passionate about the level of detail we were doing and they were empowered to deliver what they were doing. And the collaboration aspect was missing. So I came in and made a statement at the very start to say, you need to listen to what the building's telling you and focus on delivering that and you'll get the way through the project. The things that, that gives me the most joy out of the job I do is probably the end result. But a lot of it is about the process you go through. You have to follow a rhythm to get to an end. 